what is going on youtube welcome back to another video going over markets now i know you guys have all seen the video already the best or what i like to cover is selling puts and covered calls basically the wheel strategy and cheap stocks that you can actually do this on so with that being said let's go on ahead jump into this video and get right to the point Yo. Getting dirty money. Okay guys, you guys know I don't like wasting any time. These videos could take hours if you really wanted to break down every step of them. We don't have hours. We got roughly 10 minutes. So I got my water here ready and we are going to attack this video. So the one that I have open right now is TQQQ. A lot of you guys are going to know what QQQQ is or SPY. It's going to also cover just the actual markets no i don't pay for trading views so yes these ads pop up for me every time i get on here so we're going to zoom out of here you guys can see the market normally just continues to go up with time right now we're having a bad year it is technically down but with time and again you guys can all do this it goes up but let's go back to a four hour chart and we're going to zoom in here because what we want to do is we want to be part of the market. We want the upside return. And we also want to cash flow. And that's what's great about the wheel strategy. And you can make some extra points basically on the market every year. So TQQQ, why would we ever do this? Because it's a leverage. Look, it says in yellow down here, leverage. It's going to take us to a disclaimer here two times three times the good thing is i'm going to show you how we can trade this and you can either own 100 shares and just write covered calls which is selling an option so we're going to jump right into here and we are going to do what i do and again this is on robin hood you guys know i don't use robin hood um but i do think if you don't have a big account and you're starting with a couple thousand or you're starting with a thousand, there are other stocks like SoFi and so forth. We can get you started. We're, you know what? We're going to do this. And something like what I like to do is I'm going to jump down here. You guys can see I went 24 days out. I like that 25 to 30 days out. I will go 23 days out. And I don't want to buy it for any of these at all. But... I will sell it for a 20. You guys can see this, these prices. Now, I don't think these prices are accurate at all based on normally you're able to sell these for about 25 to 30 at a 10% probability. And you guys can see right now your chances of profit with the implied volatility today. So if you went up, yeah, these aren't even close. Oh, I'm sorry, because I was on the wrong one. That would make the world of difference. So if we're going to go down to selling. And yeah, right here, this makes more sense. About a 20 on a 66% chance. Um, I'm actually going to go down to probably the 19. I prefer it at $19, but I'm okay with selling this one as well. So we're going to go worst case scenario. I'm going to collect $24, and you guys can see right over here my max loss is $1,878. Now what that's not going to tell you here is you're not really going to lose that money. You're going to gain equity actually of it. So if the stock actually goes down to $19 in these 24 days, you're going to get assigned. So what will happen is you're going to be able to buy it for $19. Say this is a stock that you already want to own and it's trading at $26 and $27. Well, we don't want to buy it at $26 and $27. We want to buy it more like a $19, $18, $20, something where we feel good, where we know the market just dropped and we are getting it for a bargain, guys. That's why we sell puts, and it's going to generate cash flow in the meantime. So I want to go on ahead over here to SoFi because this is a company that a lot of people like. And again, I don't do this one because I don't think it's needed. So you guys can see here, this is a five-year chart. So it's done nothing really but go down. I do think that they have the probability of going up, though, 
eventually. But again, I'm not trading this. So all you got to do is we're going to go back up to 24 days. It's pretty simple. We're selling weeklies. But for that, and we're going to go to a put. And we want it to go to... Um, we're going to go down here to probably the 15% probability. And for 4.5, so $450, we can collect $6. You guys are going to see it here. It's going to subtract the 6, of course, so your max loss is here. In worst case scenario, you own 100 shares. Now, what you can do once you get these 100 shares at $4.50, which... Could be a bargain, could not be a bargain. Again, I don't know enough about SoFi. I just know a lot of people like this strategy with it. You could go now and start doing it the other way. Say you own it at 450. Well, now you can go do a call. And if you can see the ones that are in the money are worth more. Say you don't want to hold it for very long and you're willing to sell it. You bought it at for in this instance, let's say you bought it at four and a half, or you have it at four and a half. Well, now I want to sell for five. That, now it's only fifty cents a share, so you're looking at fifty dollars, but that's on four hundred and fifty dollars. That's a great return, but we want to sell it instantly at five, and we're going to collect ninety-two dollars. Or we're probably not going to collect that. You're probably actually going to collect $35 because this is the one that's in the money. You're probably going to be closer to that. 35 to 25 probably is where I would say. But you're going to collect $35 on it that next month as well. On a $450 stock, guys, a $35 a month return? What is this? Let's do the math because this is insane. 450 times, let's go with 0.05 is twenty two and a half dollars so if you're getting you get a five percent return a month if you're selling the at the money bait or the one out of the money option if you get assigned on selling the puts or you don't again we don't get assigned we collect the six dollars what is a six dollar return on four fifty dollars four hundred fifty times point zero one so 1% is 4.5%. So I'm going to say we're at a 1.5%, almost 2%. 2% is $9. Guys, you're at about 1.5% return. Guys, the S&P 500 only returns an average of 10% a year. So you may be a little bit below it, but again... All of a sudden, if you get assigned, you may be able to sell that next one instantly, boom, back into it. Again, that's why I wanted to show you this, TQQQ. But my main thing is I want to be buying stocks or selling options on stocks that guys I like. QQQ and TQQQ are going to mimic each other. Now, if you go here, look at TQ, and we're going to actually... I want to pull this out a bit so we can see it more. So this is QQQQ, and then we're going to go to TQQQQ. I may have said one too many Qs. You guys can see, when the stock market's going up, it goes up. It mimics it, except for it's leveraged. Right now, again, we're at 2530. I think we actually bounced after hours, if I'm not mistaken here. We can go down to a four-hour chart and kind of see in here. Yeah, you can see we definitely did bounce after hours. This is on a four hour chart. I like to look at the dailies. And then for all of you technical analysis technical analysis guys out there, let's go grab an indicator. Let's go grab an EMA line. And it's not going to give me just here we go. We're gonna grab two of them. For you guys that love the golden cross out there, and I'm gonna show you how I would manipulate it. Again, you don't have to do this. I'm going to do this. It's not going to let me edit it live while I'm doing it. That's crappy. So let's just get one of one. Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. It's okay. But you guys can see there's a 9 EMA on here. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, you guys can do this, guys. Why are you doing this? This is for people that want to invest, but they want the cash flow. Maybe they're scared that the market's going to drop. Guys, I'm scared that the market's going to drop. I am going to be 100% honest with you. Do I think it's going to drop like everybody was calling it's the next 08? No. 
the market is like the boy who cried wolf. Everybody's always saying that it's going to crash. 99 out of 100 times, it does not. So the 1%, it does. Again, doesn't matter whether we're due for one or not. This is how it really works. Again, these are just a hood. You guys like Robin Hood so much. Robin Hood Markets, here you go. It's a cheap stock now that you can sell options on. It's trading for $9.22, guys. You can run these covered calls strategies and wheel strategies and selling puts all day long and get cash flow on your cash that's sitting there doing nothing. And the worst case scenario that happens is you buy these stocks that you want to hold forever you're buying them at a much discounted price. And again, what your risk tolerance and where you see is fit, that is all the way up to you. So if you think we're in a bull market all of a sudden and you don't think that selling a put on TQQQ for a month out, you don't think selling the 19s reasonably, you want to get filled sooner, well, you know, you're like, hey, I think $24 is a good deal. Well, now all of a sudden, you can collect $123 for $2,400. And that is in 24 days. So less than a month, you're going to get this money. And worst case scenario, you now own 100 shares of TQQQ at $24 when it was trading at 26 And you thought it was bullish then. And again, if you want, if you're really, really wanting into this one, or you really just want to collect the cash flow, there is things that you guys can do. You guys can come up here. Let's go three days out, and you know what? We say we want it bad. Let's collect sixty-two, or we want it super bad. Let's go collect a hundred and fifteen dollars on this. We want to buy it at twenty-five dollars. It had just had a big red day, or a good size red day. We're not gonna say huge because we've definitely seen bigger red days, but a good red day. Boom. Let's look at it right here. Let's grab $115 guaranteed locking in some profit. That gives you a basically, if you're looking at it this way, that gives you a $1 buffer on TQQQ right now for the week. Doesn't mean that it doesn't go red tomorrow and you are locking in, you're buying it at $26. The good thing is, guys, again, if you do buy it at $26, you can turn around and 10 days with they have weeklies basically that's what you're looking at and you can sell a call instantly one that's in the money or one right outside the money is $67 so you can automatically in 2 weeks collect 120 bucks 130 bucks depending on what you actually get filled at for just flipping these shares guys this is what i like to call finance at its greatest i i love this i really do when you're able to manipulate the market get better prices for what you think and be able to do those things you guys can see here the markets guys again let's go to an advanced market oh here we got the cable cross i didn't even know that they had this on here We're, we have extended hours again these are just things that you can look at here five years the market only goes up isn't that what everybody says so start buying shares now guys this is not financial advice i hope this helps somebody else out there um if you want me to do another video where i actually execute a trade and show it all live i can definitely do that let me know because i do quite a few of these let me know and we will go over i'll have to flip over to td ameritrade and show you guys that but leave a comment below saying do a live trade and we'll go over that as well thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video